Hello guys and welcome back to Comment and it's time for part 3 of this tutorial series and this time we are going to make the public void exit vehicle so create a new void public void exit vehicle so this void will just make sure you will exit the vehicle really so the first thing you're going to do is is driving is false so that's always false even if you just with a hack turned it on or something else and if you're not really the driver still just put the is driving is false just to make sure it isn't driving after that and you just walk around and a vehicle is following following you um, then we are going to uh, set a transform dot position to a factor 3 dot lerp we're actually going to exactly doing the same as this part but it's a little bit different because we're going to use the same uh, variables because that's a little bit easier we it has to be a little bit different so here transform dot position uh, current seat dot place dot transform dot position plus a new factor uh, three and from that two no zero I mean and did make sure that you will just spawn right next to the car you can do uh, checks what to do in uh, Grand Theft Auto if you can go out if you can go in but because it's a basic tutorial I'm not going to uh, integrate that and we're going to do time minus five and that's because um, within this update we will just check uh, in the last tutorial if it's uh, less than one if this you will automatically enter the vehicle if it is bigger than one but smaller uh, than six you will uh, automatically uh, exit the vehicle so that's how we do this then um, we are also going to add if time is uh, less than 5 it is 5 just to make sure that you won't get with issues where you just enter the vehicle and directly exit and directly enter it directly exit it directly enter it direct and so on so that's why we adjust uh, this just to make sure you won't get that uh, issues also we are just going to add uh, time oh time dot delta time and we're going to uh, put this uh, within that we and if the time is bigger then five I think uh, yeah five so um, let me see if the, this is right no if it's bigger is it if it is bigger than six you will um, set transform dot uh, what do you call it parent to null so we're just going to remove the parent we are also going to set the game object dot layer to your normal layer by with the normal unity settings it's one also we are going to make sure the uh, your FPS controller can move again so set this to true and also that you just can use that seat just current seat dot using is false and I think I made a mistake in my source fail so that's why I was just thinking is this 5 or 6 but we will just try it and if this a mistake I will just fix it within the last tutorial also um, we are going to make we are now five minutes okay we are actually going to make that you can go in and out so the very first thing it will do is put the time to two because um, if the time is to two you won't exit or enter a vehicle because well I think you understand that and within the update we are going to make that if and you can do this whatever I'm just going to do this like this so if input get key down 
is the same as key code dot f and then check vehicle and then if time is less than one you will go out uh, I'll go in I mean go uh, enter vehicle sorry that was my source field I'm very sorry about that and if you uh, are driving we are going to create a new void for that and we're going to fill that up in the next uh, episode public void driving so here's where uh, you're going to add here everything you are driving and or you can if you're using another script for that just add here um, just make there a fair uh, just turn it on turn it off whatever you want um, but here change this and add here driving but still have this void here because we are also going to use it to exit the vehicle um, because here uh, or first in the, within the update we are going to copy this and paste this here if time is less than 6 and it is uh, bigger than 1 you will exit the vehicle and um, if you're driving and you are getting the input key code, key code f, you will uh, uh, set the time to five. Um, we will just make for sure make it uh, bigger than three because otherwise it will already exit the vehicle. While well, you still have two here, um, so. I think that was it for this tutorial. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but otherwise it will be. I want the driving part within the next tutorial just in uh, one time and not split that up. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.